What if I told you the majority of shoulder pain is curable with one simple stretch? Hanging reverses the most common shoulder diagnosis, shoulder impingement. No matter how much you exercise, the modern day lifestyle is terrible for our shoulders. My guest today is an orthopedic surgeon who made a groundbreaking discovery. By having his patients hang, a majority of them were able to cancel their surgeries. And after a few weeks, the 35 years of pain is gone. Dr. John Kirsch discovered that hanging decompresses the rotator cuff tendon. It gives you more space in the joint and can literally reshape your bones over time. And something that Dr. John told me in this interview blew me away. Wow. Just keeping their feet on the ground, doing partial hanging, was able to cure their shoulder pain that they've had for 35 years. That's amazing. Whether you're young, old, healthy, or in pain, hanging should be a part of your weekly routine and it can be extremely easy. In this video, we'll dive into some science and some how to fix your shoulders without pills or surgery. Google tells us that up to 70% of adults will experience shoulder pain in their lifetime, and a majority is caused by shoulder impingement. The good thing for us is that the main issue that hanging heals is shoulder impingement. Now, hanging has become much more popular in the last few years, but if you can believe it, Dr. John Kirsch made this discovery in the 80s. His young sons were playing on some monkey bars. When he hopped in to join them, he got pain in his shoulder and was even recommended for surgery at one point. I thought then that what I needed to do to go home and hang, it's exactly what I I did. I went home and hung from trees. I put up a bar and I gradually got better and better. And it proved to me that my patients needed to do the same thing if they were going to get better. And here I am. I never had any surgery on my shoulder. So he started hanging by intuition. When it worked, he started testing it on patients and eventually started doing scientific research. This eventually culminated into his book, which has helped thousands of people heal their shoulders. And we're going to be referring to this book throughout the video. It's packed with information and motivational testimonials. I would highly recommend picking one up. Mine stays on my desk for motivation. The other great news about hanging is that it's so, so simple. Simply reach up, grab something overhead, and start to put the weight into your shoulders. And as Dr. John stated earlier, you don't even have to lift your feet from the ground. But there is a big difference between this and lifting your arms overhead. The big benefit to hanging is traction. Gravity pulls your torso downward while your arm and shoulder are pulled upward. And unfortunately, we just can't get the same effect from only reaching our arms upward. And that's why it's crucial to hang. The easiest thing you can do is buy yourself a pull-up bar for your home. We are going to give away one of these pull-up stands that I've used for years now to the top comment below. So drop a cool or a clever comment to enter to win. But the nice thing about partial hanging is to get started, you can be quite creative. Dr. Kirsch has an incredible testimonial in his book from a lady who fixed her frozen shoulder from grabbing onto a ledge in her shower. She bent her knees slightly, putting just a little pressure into the joint, and it was enough to alleviate her pain. I've even done full hangs on door frames before, so I imagine putting partial weight will work just fine. Of course, use caution. Don't do anything dangerous. So for all my 60, 70, 80 year olds, I want to hammer home the point that partial weight hanging, just putting a little bit of weight into the shoulders can be life-changing. That old lady with 35 years of shoulder pain, she never could do a full full hanging. She did partial weight hanging, and after a few weeks, the 35 years of pain is gone. If you are in a human body, then gravity is pulling you down as you age. But if you rest into a deep squat, you're using gravity to make your hips more mobile. If you sit at a desk for long hours, then gravity's hard on your shoulders. But while you hang, gravity improves your shoulders. So why is hanging so net positive? You stretch big muscles that commonly become tight from sitting, like the chest and lats. You develop large amounts of grip strength while also decompressing your back. But what Dr. Kirsch has discovered goes beyond these superficial muscles. And for the purposes of this book, and for the science, and for people to understand their shoulder, I call it a joint, the acromiohumeral joint. When you hang, that bone leans against this acromion mm. and bends it, only a millimeter, it, hardly anything but it's just enough to relieve the pressure on the rotator cuff tendon. Dr. Kirsch was the first ever to take images of the shoulder while hanging. Over time through inactivity, your acromion can become deformed. And this is where those rotator cuff tendons can be compressed. Now, I'm no anatomy expert, and I'm sure you're not either, so let's think of this in the simplest way possible. The more that I sit at a desk, don't reach my arms overhead, and don't hang from a bar, gravity will pull my shoulder joint downwards. Eventually, this can lead to what this image on the right displays, less space in your joint. Now, when you go to use your shoulder, especially reaching overhead, your muscles and tendons are all compressed and therefore won't work right. This is what leads to pain and then the shoulder impingement diagnosis. What Dr. Kirsch calls bending the acromion through hanging allows you to gradually restore that space in the shoulder. Now mobility can return and the shoulder can function properly.
And did you know that it's actually possible to reshape your bones? This fellow named Julius Wolf discovered that bones will adapt to the loads that are placed on them. Orthodontics takes advantage of this by gradually shifting teeth. Over time, if you don't hang, your acromion will become more hooked. That's the bad one. But by implementing regular hanging, you start to bend it the other way. Literally, one exercise can transform and heal your shoulders. We're big fans of working up to a 30 to 60 second hang if you're young and fit enough. And we'll link to the video where we even expand on working up to a one arm hang. But Dr. Kirsch's recommendations are much more moderate. And these are based off an older population, often in severe pain and with limitations. Grab it, hang for a couple seconds. You don't need to do a whole lot of this. Probably 10 seconds, four or five times a day is all you need to do. 10 seconds, four or five times a day. Do you, do you think it's good to break it up throughout the day? If you're having shoulder trouble, you certainly should be doing that three, four, five times a day for about 10 seconds. That's all you need to do. My biggest recommendation is to try to do a little bit more as the weeks go by. Your body will adapt and you'll grow stronger and you'll even start to notice that your shoulders are craving the hang. Maybe the most important information of all is who. Who can heal their shoulders from hanging? Surprisingly, hanging helps the majority of shoulder problems out there. What's the number one symptom and therefore sign that you should try hanging? People who have pain in their shoulder when they lift their arm or raise their arm, move it around. As we discussed earlier, this is often referred to as shoulder impingement. But the other big population that Dr. Kirsch recommends hanging is people with rotator cuff injuries. And it's the tears of the rotator cuff that make people miserable. They can't lift their arm. They can't use it because their rotator cuff tendons are torn. So the hanging prevents tears of the rotator cuff. But it not only prevents it, it can also help out your rotator cuff tears or injuries. You'll never make your rotator cuff tears worse hanging, but you might relieve some of the impingement that's still there. There's a great story in the book of a woman who had arthritis and was scheduled for shoulder replacement surgery. She did the hanging protocols and what they found was her pain was not being caused by arthritis. It was subacromial impingement and weak rotator cuff muscles. She canceled her surgery and was eventually completely pain-free. So, so hanging can prevent shoulder replacement surgery. That's a big thing to have on, on record. Now, hanging won't heal every single problem. It's not going to fix a tear in your labrum. And if you have unstable shoulders that dislocate, you might want to avoid hanging until they become more stable. For a shoulder with hypermobility, you actually need the opposite of most people. From a hang position, you need to learn how to pull the shoulder blades down and pull the humerus deeper into the socket. And you can take the same approach, keep your feet on the ground and only put as much weight into the shoulder as feels comfortable. Honestly, the active hang is great for anyone to mix into their hanging routine. This is the prerequisite to a pull-up and how you start gaining strength in your lats and traps. So why isn't hanging recommended in every doctor's office around the world? Well, maybe there's not enough money in it. Maybe most people gravitate to the easier fix like pills or surgery, or maybe because it seems too easy and simple to have these extraordinary benefits. But I hope we've convinced you that everyone should hang. If you want to develop your mobility as an adult using tools like hanging and squatting, then check out our course, Master Mobility. And if you wanna do a follow along with hanging and some other great shoulder stretches, then click here on the screen right now.